Hi, my name is Armand Hezerkani, and this is an introduction to Google Cloud. This video is intended for use by anyone interested in preparing for their future careers. In the next few minutes, we're going to discuss what Google Cloud is and what some student developers have been able to create with it. Ready? We're going to start by going back in time. Let's pretend for a moment that we're in the time before cloud computing, and we want to start a company to create a social networking site. You'd start by buying a server, lugging it all the way home from the store, and spending hours preparing it with all the correct hardware and software so it can run your company's web app. Fast forward a few months, and things are looking up for your company's site. The users are flooding in. As your organization's user base grows, you have to buy and install more and more servers. This is called scaling. Eventually, you're doing so well that the company opens up a data center. Next thing you know, you're international and spending billions of dollars opening data centers all around the world. Sounds like a lot of work, right? Here's the good news. You don't have to do any of that. Luckily, some companies have spent years building some of the world's most advanced networks of data centers. Cloud computing is when these companies allow developers to store data and run code on their computing infrastructure. Google is one of these companies. Google has data centers all around the world that have allowed it to scale to billions of users. These data centers house the computing infrastructure that powers the Google products you may be familiar with, such as Search, Gmail, and Google Photos. Google Cloud gives you the access to the same technology and infrastructure that powers Google. This means that Google Cloud has over 100 products and tools in categories like compute, storage, and machine learning and artificial intelligence that seamlessly integrate together, all a click away. One category is compute. These products help you deploy code to the cloud. For example, we may use a compute product like App Engine to deploy a social networking site. Another category is storage and databases. These products help us store data, retrieve, and query data in the cloud. For example, we may want to store data for our dog walking app, the dog's names and locations, in a cloud Firestore database. We also have machine learning and artificial intelligence. These products allow us to leverage Google's AI technologies for our own applications. We can build and deploy our machine learning models to AI platform, or take advantage of one of the easy-to-use, pre-trained machine learning APIs like vision or natural language. So what is Google Cloud? In a sentence, Google Cloud lets developers build and host applications and websites, store data, and analyze data, all on Google's scalable and reliable computing infrastructure. Now. Let's see what some student developers have done with Google Cloud. A team of student developers called Guardian worked together to help Alzheimer's patients with a GPS-enabled smartwatch. The Guardian team leveraged a lot of the Firebase platform for their application. Firebase is Google Cloud's comprehensive mobile development platform. The team used Firebase authentication to easily verify app users, Firebase cloud messaging to send push notifications to different platforms, and cloud functions for Firebase to execute backend code without having to manage a server. They also used Cloud Firestore, a Google Cloud database, to store and sync user data. A team of student developers created a service called Nagish to help people who are deaf or hard of hearing talk on the phone. They leverage Google Cloud's text-to-speech and speech-to-text APIs to convert back and forth between voice and text. And that's it. Let's review. We started by talking about what Google Cloud is, a platform that lets developers build and host applications and websites, store data, and analyze data, all on Google's scalable and reliable computing infrastructure. Then we discussed some of the incredible projects that student developers were able to build with these tools when working to learn skills for their future careers. My name is Armand Hezerkani, and I can't wait to see what you build with Google Cloud.